Hi dear students, in today's class we will have the discussion of the syllabus for your first terminal exam and then we will have the revision of Act 1, Scene 1. First we will have the discussion of syllabus for first terminal exams. From the poetry, chapter 4, After Blending, chapter 5, Television, chapter 6, Daffodils will be there for your exam. And from the short stories, chapter 4, Hats and Hands, chapter 5, A Face in the Dark, chapter 6, An Angel in Disguise will be there for your next terminal exam. And from the Merchant of Venice, Act 1, Scene 1, 2, 3, and Act 2, Scene 1, 2, 3. So, altogether, 6 scenes will be there for your first terminal exam so you must go through the lessons carefully and if there is any doubt you can ask me and from the merchant of Venice sometimes the character studies will be asked so you have to make sure that you have prepared very well for writing character study no summary will be there for your exam the pattern for the exam it will be just same as last time that means the exam will be out of 80 and 20 marks you will get as internal marks. For the written exam, 9 extracts will be there and each extract carries 16 marks. And out of these 9 extracts, you have to write or you have to attempt 5 extracts. And from each section, you have to attempt at least 1 question. Then you have to study the rhyme scheme and the poetry devices used in the poem and the, the name of the poem and the author of the poem or the name of the short story, author of the short story. And last time I have noticed that many students, they did not write the uh, uh, introduction part for each question. Last time I told you that when you write or when you attempt an extract, then you have to make an introduction to that particular extract. If it is a story, then you have to mention from which story that particular extract is taken. And if it is a poem, then from which poem that particular extract is taken. And if it is from Merchant of Paris, from which act and scene that particular extract is taken. And the main characters discussed in that extract or the scene or the poetry or the short story, you have to mention and the main theme of the poetry or the short story or the act or the scene you have to mention when you write your answers. First you have to write that one. At least three points should be there. Three sentences should be there. And then you can attempt your answer. And then you can write your answers. And you should careful that you should give the exact question number that is given in your uh, question paper. Otherwise, if you are making some other question numbers or if you are giving some other question numbers, then I won't give a single mark to you. And if the question number is given in your uh, question paper, 1, 2, 3, and if you are writing A, B, C, then I won't give a single mark. So, you must careful. According to the question number given in your question paper, you have to write in your answer sheet. So, you must study very well each chapter and if there is any doubts, you can contact me. Now we will have the revision of Act 1, Scene 1. Already you have written the exam, Act 1, Scene 1, here in this particular scene. The main character, Antonio is present in a sad mood or melancholic mood and he himself does not know the reason for his melancholic mood or the sad mood. Then few friends, Saladino and the Saladino, come and say some of the reasons for the sad or melancholic mood of Antonio. But Antonio doesn't agree with the comments given by Saladino and Saladino. And, and then few friends of Antonio come there like the close friend, Bassanio, Graciano, Lorenzo. And Bassanio comes there with a particular purpose he needs some money in order to go to Belman and in order to marry a rich lady there in Belman. Vesanya comes with a few friends and among that Graciano also trying to find out some of the 
reasons for Antonio, some of the reasons for Antonio's sadness, and from that we will understand the character of Graciano. Then Graciano and Lorenzo leaving the scene, and only Bassanio and Antonio left. Then Bassanio demands ask for some money from Antonio because Bassanio wants to go to Belmont, and in Belmont, Portia leaves, and Bassanio wants to marry Portia. Then Antonio says that he doesn't have any money with him, and it is better you have to ask some other money lenders and get money in the name of Antonio. And that is the end of scene one, act one, scene one. You have to go through the scene, and if there is any doubt, you have to ask me. Thank you. Have a nice day.